you um, want to go on YouTube and uh, do it. Okay, so all set. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we are drawing this Mako from one of my books uh, called no Noisy Parrot. It's a uh, board book for little kids with this sound. So it's a story of a uh, parrot who is very, very noisy. Okay, so let's start. Um, okay, so we start with his head. So again, uh, have a look at your uh, paper and uh, decide where you want your uh, parrot to be. So I think my head is going to be over here in the top half of the page. So I'm starting with a circle as a uh, guide for my head, for my parrot's head. Okay. So I'm drawing uh, very, very lightly um, and with my strokey sketches to achieve a round shape. So I'm drawing a bit darker so that you can see uh, on the screen, but I uh, advise you to draw, draw really, really lightly because we are going to anyway uh, erase it later. So we've got this for the head and now we're going to draw the shape for the body. So the body is, uh, is an oval shape but it's going to be a bit uh, rounder on one side. So I come down from the circle and draw a bit roundish oval from one side like a C shape. Yeah, and then I'm going to go less round on this side. So this is the shape I want. See how I'm drawing with sketchy strokes. I'm not trying to make a perfect shape. I'm just uh, drawing in little strokes to achieve the shape that I want. So I've got this. Uh, now, okay, now I'm going to join the head and the body. Okay, for that I'm going to start, start from here and come down towards this shape. So I start from here in my sketchy strokes and come down like this. Okay, and we'll do the same thing uh, at the back of his uh, neck, as you can see, the head is on like uh, it's a side uh, view of the head. So that's why I'm calling this the back of his neck. So this is done. I hope you are able to do this uh, by now. Uh, now we are going to uh, give the head this. Uh, feathery back. So for that I'm going to start from here and draw a line here, a soft curvy line here. I'll make it a bit darker for you. Like that. And then I'm going to draw these little scallops to give it a feathery uh, look. And then I'm merging it here. Okay, so this is done. <clears throat> now we are going to uh, draw his beak. So uh, I'm making his uh, mouth wide open because he's a very talkative uh, mako. So I'm going to give a point here. So this is going to be the pointy bit of his uh, side of his beak. And then I go up like this and then a curvy line, an inverted C shape here. So I went from this point to here in a straight, soft straight line and then I'm uh, drawing a curvy line over here like an inverted C shape you can see. And then from the same point I'm going to go down for his lower Beak like this, 
and then the curve will go up. And now uh, the lower part of the stop day. So it's a wavy line like this. You start from here and go there. Like this. And now we are going to draw a U shape over here for the lower part of his open beak. So um, before I go ahead with the details of in, on, on the beak, I will remove this extra lines here. And then the inner part of it. Like this. And let me remove uh, it is this area as well. And this also. Because this was just our guideline. Now we're going to make uh, his eye. So the eye is just um, here, just near to his B. So a circle. And his eyeball. I like to give uh, my characters eyebrows because eyebrows are. Uh, Help me to um, help me to give him uh, different expressions. So now this is done. Now I'm going to draw a shape like this around his eyes. Yeah. So this is done. The head is almost done. Now we are going to uh, draw his wings. So let's erase this oval shape. We don't need it anymore. Okay. So let's draw the wing. Okay. For the wing, we are going to draw a C shape first, like this. This will be the beginning of our shape for the wing here. So we have this shape here. Now we are going to extend it to the side for the wing. His wings are open. As he looks very excited and chatty. Okay, so this is done. Now, we started with a C shape and then we extended the line there and then we have to come down here. So it's going to be a nice big curvy line. Like that. Yeah. So now, we have the basic shape of the um, the wing, and now we are going to make scallops on the side to show the feathers. So we do scallops like this. Okay. Now the other wing. So we draw a line like this yeah. and then do the same thing, come here to this point. So give yourself a mark over here and you have to go like that up, meeting this. So we're going to draw a circle 
um, the curvy shape like this. So start with drawing uh, very light lines and keep darkening them and correcting your space as you go. So this is the shape. And now we're going to do the scallop bit like this. Okay, so the wings are done. Now we have to draw the tail. For the tail, uh, so the tail, uh, this is the shape of the body. So the tail is coming from here. That's not showing because of the wing, but uh, we will just mark it here. So this is where the tail is going to start. And then we draw like this. And uh, another line like that. And then again the scalloping gradually bit here, like we did on the wings. So our um, parrot or mako is almost done. Now we have to give him two feet. feet. Um, okay. So I'm erasing and lightening my um, his tummy or the body, and I'm, I have to decide now where the feet are going to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him a branch to sit on. So this uh, can be like can go anywhere. So I am just drawing a branch somewhere here. So you decide where your branch is going to go. Mine is going like this. And, okay. so this is the branch he's resting on and telling his story, which I don't know about. Okay, so now the feet. So now I know where the feet are going to be because I know the branch is here, his tummy is here, so somewhere here. So I draw two oval shapes here and here. So now let's draw the shape of the crown. Um, I don't know what okay. okay. So this one is done. Now I'm going to uh, draw a line here to show the lighter part of his tummy because. Um, I want to give him a lighter color here. So I'm just drawing a line like this. So this tummy is going to be pink and the body is going to be red because this is a scarlet uh, macro. Okay, so this is done. Now I'm going to draw with my permanent ink marker over it before I color it. So this is going on YouTube as well. So if you are not able to... Um, Follow me here. You can uh, go on YouTube and uh, try it again. So it would be a nice exercise if you draw with me and then again uh, with the uh, on your own and um, look at YouTube if you want and uh, give it different colors. Has anyone of you seen a Mako in real life? I have seen a really um, noisy, talkative Mako in India. Um, I've seen the one in Singapore as well, but the one in India was like a very, very uh, talkative one. He would copy anyone or everyone. Hmm. Oh, you have. Okay. They're quite big actually. It's a colorful 
birds. I hope you are not finding it too difficult. I have tried to make it easy for you. And do try drawing it and color it and send it to me with your name and your age. Some people are joining now, so we're drawing a mock hole here. And then you draw it and now you're going to color it. Okay. So in UK, we are starting uh, summer term today, uh, and some of us have started it yesterday. Let's start with the feather. So feather goes from red to white to yellow and ends with bright purpley blue color. So I'm going to start with the feather. So I'm going to go over with the brush. So I'm just doing it, giving it flat, flat uh, red shade. Up till now. And now I'm going to gradually reduce the pressure. And uh, the top at the side of the wing is red and purplish red and yellow. So we start from the edge and first give it flat color and then start reducing the pressure. So I like to blend different shades. So I'm going to um, blend in a purple color as well. Um, so I'm gradually just leaving it and leaving it white. And I'm going to fill it with yellow. Um, 
paint for the top uh, for the belly. Trying to give it a blendy effect, not too much of sketchy lines. I usually start with the edge and then come inside of the shape. If you want to know which um, pencil is this, um, it's a watercolor pencil, crayon, uh, watercolor pencil. Yeah. And uh, there's a link on the website um, which shows you exactly which one it is. Um, you can go on my website and do the classes and do the list of everything that I need. Um, If you have any requests uh, for what next should we draw, uh, draw then uh, just uh, let me know here. And uh, I'll add it to the list. The branch. So I'm just going to do lines like this, and then I'm going to spread it with water. So another lighter brown. So I've got my water here. Yeah. So I have to be careful now because if I use the brush over here and then take it to the yellow or blue, it will get all uh, messed up. So I'm going to go on the yellow parts first. Because I want my yellow to be really nice and vibrant and clean. Wash my brush in between and remove it from water. I want a little bit of blending, but not too much. The yellow is done. I forgot to uh, color his. Um, Okay. So now I'm going to go over the red color. So I, uh, for uh, watercolor or coloring with a brush, I stay inside of the shape and try to go towards the uh, outside, not the other way around. So my brush is inside my uh, shape. And uh, my brush is very quite wet. 
but not dripping. And uh, as I go along, I wet the brush again. And uh, if you have too much water on the paper, you can uh, use a tissue to remove it or just drag it to the side of the shape. And it looks like this, uh, uh, like a regular uh, watercolor, which is nice. Don't uh, rub the art for too much with your brush, just go over it only once. I'm dragging the top towards the other side. I'm just blending on the yellow with a little bit. Now let's before touching the blue, I'll do the pink bit. Little bit of bleeding is fine. Little bit of or uh, uneven now uh, texture to the charm of the watercolor so we want that and, uh, this. now let's do the um, branch just go over these lines and uh, hopefully it will look like a branch. Again, I'm inside the shape and trying to go towards the edges. And if I have extra water, I leave it to the edge because I don't want too much blue inside where the yellow is. So I have very less water near the yellow color. Now I'm going to clean my brush and then try to blend it. Plenty of water. And then go over the blue part first before you start blending. Now clean the brush, less water, and blend it. Like this. So this is all done. So there we are, that's our macaw, the scarlet macaw, and our very, very chatty one. So he wants to say bye to you, and uh, do send your artwork to me, uh, and uh, don't forget to write your name and your age, and uh, if you post it on Instagram, then tag me, uh, and uh, yeah, that would be really nice. Okay, so thank you for joining me. Have a very nice day. Bye now.